another balmy morning. <laughs> it's actually foggy outside. So that's interesting. They were warning about frozen fog, which I think is the same thing as black ice. So we shall see. But anyway, I'm supposed to get up almost to 40 today. So there you go. Good morning. It's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I'm having some of my Queen City Black this morning. I guess I need to make a list because I need to order more of that coffee. And uh, Dennis says things like order this and order that on his list, so I could do that. I had thought I was going to do my podcast today before I couldn't get out of bed again. So I got out of bed late, so I haven't had my shower. But it still is only 10 o'clock in the morning. 10.10, it's 10.10. So it's not like the day is shot or anything, and I could still do it, but I'll work on my, sh my show notes for my podcast at a minimum. And uh, we'll see what happens, but Either way, it won't be up today because Dennis is working on, he's rebuilding Aura's computer. Which means he's spending a lot of time on his computer because he's sitting there next to her computer or whatever anyway. I won't probably have time to edit it today. Even if I, even if I record it today. I had a very nice visit with Aura. She's doing well. She's doing well with her rehab, so that's good. And it was nice to get out of the house and have a conversation. We're going over there today to take out her recycling and trash. And uh, we have a few things we need at the grocery store, so I think we'll be running to the grocery store. Uh, and she has a couple things she wants, and then we'll go take out her trash. So we'll see her again today. And then tomorrow is rehab again. Although if Kim is here, she might do, take her. If not, I'll take her. So there you go. The whole week is planned. And somewhere in there will be a podcast. <laughs> I finished my book yesterday, The Race Le Lace Reader. And I recommend it. Takes place in Salem, Massachusetts, and there are witches. Not witch witches. Well, witches. Yeah, there are witches. And that happened early enough, and I still had brain power, so I started my heel. I'm in the middle of my gusset. Well, I don't think I'm in the middle of my gusset. I think I'm about a third of the way of my gusset. Well, maybe. I may be in the middle of my gusset. I, uh, the pattern is written expecting you to do the right thing or the logical thing and do your heels on DPNs, but I'm not doing that. So I had to sit there and figure it out because I'm not, apparently also not watching a video. I don't know why I didn't watch a video. I'm sure there are plenty. And in fact, I think Carol li links to one. But I, I figured it out. I'm doing okay. The only thing I did was I, I should have had all of the gusset stitches all on one needle, and I didn't. But the only thing that means is that when I'm done with the gusset, I have to re I'm going to have to rearrange my needles, my st stitches back on my needles correctly, because they're going to end up not correct. I'm going to end up with some stitches that are the bottom of the foot on the same needle as the top of the foot, which is not how you do it when you do it the way I do it. Anyway, but look at that pretty heel. Isn't that pretty? Of course, the front's pretty too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, why is it that the... Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? But I'm so tickled with it. Anyway. 
aside from the instructions to use DPNs, which I didn't do, I'm doing this via the instructions and they seem to be help working. So there you go. I think the pattern works. I don't, I have to, I still haven't looked up on my instruction sheet what day I'm done, but I think it's like in the next day or two. So I'll get through the heel and then I will be able to report that I did what as instructed and it worked great, which is really the best, you know, that's good enough. It is what it is. It is what it is. Carol won't be mad at me. I'm sure. Right, Carol? Yeah. I think she has. She has a lot of good knitters who are testing for her. Well, as you well know, because they're also part of our community. <laughs> and they're watching me, you know, be way behind. <laughs> but I had a good day yesterday. And, uh... Yeah, I had a good day, but I woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't get back to sleep, didn't want to get up this morning, you know. So I'm feeling like I'm getting a slow slash late start for my day when I was thinking I would podcast. So I don't have any notes written anyway, so I'll work on the notes and call it a day. So there you go. Nothing particularly interesting happened yesterday. Which I'm a fine with. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I thought of the Chinese curse, may you live in interesting times. Unfortunately, I feel like we're living in interesting times. So not interesting yesterday is probably a plus. Oh, happy year of the tiger. Speaking of Chinese, Chinese New Year, happy year of the tiger. I wonder what, I wonder what tiger signifies. I hope it's something good. I'm getting excited about the Olympics. They're coming up in a few days and that'll be fun. I like mo almost all of the Maybe I already told you this when I talked about the Olympics before. I liked almost all of the winter sports. The only one I, you know, the only one that jumps to my mind that I'm not interested in seeing is hockey. I have no interest in hockey. Sorry, you Canadians. So I don't watch any hockey. But I mean, even curling is interesting. I didn't think I liked curling either till I watched it for a while and you know started to understand what was going on. You know. I think it's possible that when you understand it, you might enjoy some sports. I, uh, not all of them, though. Football, forget it. I like hockey well enough. I used to watch hockey when I lived in Philadelphia in the days of the of the Broad Street Bullies and the Phil the Philadelphia Flyers in their prime with Bernie Perrant and. Bobby Clark, couldn't think of his name. I I watched hockey then. I even went to a hockey game. It was a preseason game. But I'm not interested anymore. But I thought, you know, and I and there's some of the, some of the snowboarding things. I'm not. But but they're entertaining, so I would watch them. I mean, I don't really care about them. But most of the winter sports, and one of my favorite sports. In winter, in the Winter Olympics, is the biathlon, <laughs> and I'm sure most of you say, "Oh, biathlon, <laughs> turn it off." But I don't know why, but I really like the biathlon, and that's the one where they cross country ski for you know five kilometers, and then they lay down and shoot a gun, and then they get up and cross country ski again, and then they lay down and shoot a gun. <laughs> they have to, they have to hit, you know, hit the little metal plate. Three times, I think, or something like that. There are three of them, and they have to hit three, and then they get up and ski again. And the guy who does all those things. Oh, and you get points. Oh. Oh, if 
you, if, if you, um, if you miss, maybe you only shoot one time. I, oh dear. Well, it's been four years. Um, if you miss your shot, then you have to, you have to ski around this little, the, like a little state, like a track. You have a, you have to do a track. You have to do a lap before you can go back out on the field. So it's like a penalty that a time penalty, cause it takes you however long it takes you to do that skiing, um, is, is your time pen penalty. So anyway, I like the biathlon. I know it's really weird. I took a rifle when I was in college. I was actually, I'm actually a pretty good shot. Of course, it's been a long time since I was in college. But, <coughs> but I am looking forward to the ice skating. The girls, those Russian women are unbelievable. And, uh, you know, and I, I'm calling them women, but the best, the, the number one in the world is 15. 15. She's not a woman. You're not a woman at 15. I don't know how you define woman, but but that's okay. I'm not saying she shouldn't be in the Olympics. I'm just saying when I say women, they're so young. But they're so amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if short track speed skiing is going to be quite as fun to watch without Apollo Ono because he's such a cutie pie. But I think he, uh, he'll probably be doing commentary. So anyway. I was a big Apollo Ono fan. <laughs> All right, enough about the Olympics. I'll be doing this again when they start. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I have my, I, I set up my uh, TiVo to tape, tape, record all the, all the Olympics. And then I just fast forward. <laughs> I, you know, I watch it later and I fast forward. It's going to be in China, so it's going to be off time anyway, so. That'll work out. That's my plans for next week. Olympics. The problem with Olympics is you have to watch. So, well, Aura would like a Musselboro hat. So maybe I'll ha get make her an Olympics Musselboro hat because that's just stockinette and I can just sit and do stockinette while I watch TV and if I don't do anything that takes a lot of concentration you know that I can stop and start and stop and start there's plenty of time I don't have to actually look I suppose anyway I'll work it out so there you go <laughs> those are my thoughts for the for the morning but I will be working on my notes for my podcast because I will be podcasting soon and I will be drawing the prize, the January prize. Oh, and it's my 100th podcast episode that I'm talking about doing. I feel like I should do some kind of a giveaway or something. Do something to celebrate. Well, at, the min at a minimum, I should do it in the late afternoon, early evening and... And uh, have champagne or something. That's what I should do. I should be drinking to celebrate the 100th podcast. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> I could do both. I could do both. Anyway, I'll think about it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, please take good care of yourselves. Please, please, sending you my most healing, helpful thoughts. Please take care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay sane.